Jeremy, I just want to point out that plant is surrounded on three sides by homes in a residential area. It is not out in a, a rural area. Not, uh, not isolated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it has been about a month since Nick Wilcox went missing, but his family and his friends, they're not giving up hope. In fact, they just wrapped up a vigil tonight downtown. They're not only looking for Nick, they're looking for donations. Fox 6's Henry Rossoff live to explain why in the very latest. Henry. And there were decidedly fewer people at tonight's vigil than the one a few weeks ago, but those still there were determined to get the, get the word out that Nick is still missing and get the word out that they need some money. They gather inside Rusty's in downtown Milwaukee. Yeah, and we want to keep it kind of in the forefront of everybody's minds. To this crowd, Nick Wilcox is gone for now. My hope this evening is that you will go away encouraged, inspired. But and, not uh, forgotten. This spot near 3rd in Wisconsin is blocks from where he went missing after a New Year's night of drinking at the Irish Rec Room. We're just basically here to support one another and get through this together um, and show the community that we haven't given up and that we're still out here um, and still need their help. Now Wilcox's family and friends, including girlfriend Kelly McGonagill, have set up a fund to help find him. And that's just kind of help for us uh, to aid in the search efforts. McGonagill says right now there's no specific plan for the money. Just general search efforts. Um, it may be used for a reward in the future, um, but other than that, yeah, just general uh, search aid. All of you, your heart is really in it. And search they will with support from this gathered group. Well, we haven't found him yet, and we just want to keep people aware and keep them um, aware, and if they hear or see anything, still to come forward. And I also spoke with McGonagill about the Yvonne Young situation, the other missing man we've been reporting on lately because Milwaukee police now believe he's been murdered. They're trying to find him in that landfill in Menominee Falls. Uh, Kelly said that thought has crossed their mind that something terrible has happened, but they see that as a separate situation. They wish that family well and still plan on pushing forward with looking for Nick. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Henry Rossoff, Fox 6 News.